Dominica's Broadcasting Station presents Inside Developments. Join us as we visit Dominica's International Airport. See the work as it develops. Now, let's meet the team. Welcome to Episode 4 of Inside Developments, a special feature on the International Airport Project. The flight and landing phase is based on different flight environments, flight modes, and requirement differences on the basis of different flight zones, flight plans, and activity requirements. This is very important, especially as Dominica's International Airport is designed to feature precision landing. Runway 15 orientation base and alignment is focused on straight in and straight out approaches. To help us better understand what all of this means is CEO of the International Airport Project, Samuel Johnson. So this, this location is on the other extreme end of the, the, the runway. The runway is oriented uh, 1533. Uh, 33 where we were uh, earlier on where you saw uh, it's closer to an area known as bottom Wesley 15 is closer to the Woodford Hill side so if you look just behind me you'll see Woodford Hill on the ridge um, the the orientation was determined based on the studies of the wind uh, to get the alignment to ensure that the aircraft would be landing into the wind and taking off into the wind as well Um, this end, you will see that there's a lot of um, um, filling happening uh, to ensure that uh, some of the navigational aids will also be in this area um, of run one, runway 15. So, one of the things that um, will be a feature of this airport, unlike Douglas Charles, is we're we are aiming for precision landing. Uh, if you look behind me, you'll see that the approach is an unobstructed, um, straight in, straight out approach. So the navids that uh, we are looking at installing will be able to guide an aircraft straight into the airport, regardless of cloud cover or some of the, the weather impediments that currently impact Douglas Charles. We do not want that to be an issue here. So one of the things that uh, airlines value tremendously is when you take off for your destination, there, there, there aren't any impediments to you landing. Um, we've seen with uh, American Airlines at Douglas Charles, there are times when there's local cloud cover or there is um, um, severe weather, they would have to turn around and fly back to, um, to Miami or go to another uh, uh, airport to wait until the weather changes. Now, that is with an aircraft with 76 seats. Imagine if you had a wide body aircraft coming from London with over 300 seats. Um, going back to London or even being diverted to another airport, that, that adds cost to the operations, right? So when, one of the things we want to ensure is that by the time we're up and fully functional, that all of these technical impediments would, 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 would be removed. So the only conversation from a route development standpoint would, would be that of the destination and how great and beautiful Dominica is to visit and the many tourists that would love to come and see what we have to offer as opposed to an extended and protracted discussion about technical limitations and obstacles and, and approaches and wind, um, which are some of the conversations that are happening right now. Extremely optimistic. Um, the, the, the works that you've seen so far, and, and I think your viewers and your listeners uh, will see that it's pretty extensive for uh, initial works that have started in earnest probably in the, next, in the last four months. Um, the, the timeline is a bit ambitious, but I have full confidence in what I've seen so far and what I've, um, the discussions we've had with CR5 in their ability to, to get this done. Um, they were selected out of a pool of about seven different major contracting firms um, because of their unique skills and capabilities and ability to deliver. Um, 
I have seen nothing yet that that gives me calls for pause in terms of um, the ability to to make this happen. And you can see for yourself, the um, the the work is properly organized. The the construction management team is world class. Um, the planning preparation, the thoroughness of the um, the 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 works that are that are going on is something I I think. Uh, gives me added confidence that we will be able to deliver a world-class product. Um, probably some might argue that uh, it gives me too much confidence, or I'm overly confident, um, but uh, I've seen nothing to, 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 to make me think otherwise. So I'm very, so I'm, 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 you, can, you can start booking tickets you know, to land in um, 26, 27 uh, when, when this, is, this is done. Okay, so thanks for coming and, um, and um, thank you for your team for visiting the site. I think it, it does a great job in um, showing some of the behind the scenes because it is an active construction site. So you can't have hundreds and thousands of people walking across the site um, because of safety concerns. But I think through your lens, you are able to show the wider audience the, the magnitude of, of, of the works, the magnitude of the site, um, the complexities involved, and I think people get a better appreciation um, for what exactly is happening and beyond the, the, what is visible from a drive-by. Yeah? So we hope to have you back again sometime in the future. So um, I, I'm, I'm always amazed every week I come, I come on site, there's always something uh, major happening. So if you come back, probably another month or two, then I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Okay, thanks again. So, presently as you can see here on this special edition of Inside Developments, uh, we have taken you uh, in an exclusive, uh, transparent walkthrough of the construction of the International Airport from the beginning to the end of the terminal and all the points in between. You have seen the works that are being done, uh, the process by which uh, things are being done not just in a quick pace of time but rather in an efficient manner that will ensure that it is climate resilient it is one that can be perpetuated uh, for generations to come and one that will set the bar higher um, as we continue to to see the developmental process of this international airport there's clearly a lot of work being done a lot of work, more work to be done but then it is also being done uh, on the highest level of professionalism. And Dominica's broadcasting station, of course, is ecstatic uh, to be given this exclusive um, access to uh, allowing the regular viewers and uh, those of us who are you know, looking forward to the many opportunities that will come with this international airport here. So uh, my name is Hassan Robinson, again with Dominica's broadcasting station, signing off on this edition of Inside Development.